guys, what's up? It's Mia. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going out to actually do something with our lives instead of staying inside all the time, which, by the way, I love to do. Anyway, it's National Week, but we didn't travel because one, expensive, two, National Week is crazy to travel, and three, we've been urged not to leave the province and we didn't really find any place we wanted to go to nearby. So anyway, we're just staying in Guangzhou trying to relax and enjoy our time so today we're gonna meet up with some friends and we're gonna go bowling we've gone bowling multiple times at this place it's fun it's chill i don't know how it's going to be either it's going to be one super duper packed because it's the holiday and everyone just wants to go bowling today or two very empty because of it's the holiday so i'm hoping it's the latter and not super packed but we'll see I guess um, hopefully last time we went around like late lunchtime about one or two and a lot of people left to either nap or go eat lunch so I'm hoping it's kind of that whole same deal today as well but like I said we'll see when we get there um, we're already you know it's about noon did I say the time already anyway I'll let you guys know when we get there Alright guys, so I just wanted to talk about the snacks and drinks that they have at the bowling alley. As you can see, we were having Heineken. I think they also have Qingdao. As for snacks, they have popcorn and Chinese style hot dogs on a stick. Also, they do have like soda and water and stuff for kids or people who don't drink alcohol but you can always get stuff delivered on any delivery app like Meituan. we've definitely gotten burger king delivered we've gotten other types of beer delivered the only trouble is trying to find your delivery guy because sometimes it can really get crowded some of you might be curious about how much it costs to play at this bowling alley you can pay two different ways you can either pay per game or you can pay per hour we usually pay per game so even even though it says for example in the afternoon it's 27 RMB per game if you have four people in one game then the cost is gonna be about 108 RMB it's not that bad we usually buy two or even three games at a time if we know we're gonna be there for a while and then to rent shoes it just costs five kwai per person and you get a little really thin pair of socks if you need them
Alright, so if you want to visit this bowling hall for yourself and you don't know where it is, the closest metro stop is going to be Tiyu Zhongxing, which in English is just Tianha Sports Center, and the English name for it is somehow Big World Bowling Hall. I don't know why, but in Chinese it's literally just Guangzhou Baoling Guan. Hopefully you can find it and have fun. Anyway, I just want to say thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!